Greetings. So we are kicking off our adventure of reading the whole Bible together this year. It's my hope in these short reflections to offer a couple of thoughts about what we have read together in the previous week and some things to think about in the week ahead. Obviously, since this is our first week, I'll just be doing the week ahead to part. This week, we'll start the books of Genesis and Matthew, and we'll be reading the first seven Psalms. Genesis is in two large parts. Chapters 1 through 11 are the creation saga, and then chapters 12 through 50 are the saga of the matriarchs and patriarchs of the people of Israel. We'll cover the whole creation saga in week one. Two things to keep in mind reading the creation stories in particular. One, in Hebrew, it actually begins in the middle of a sentence. Professor Becky Wright at Swanee argues that translations of the Bible should begin with dot, dot, dot in the beginning to show that while this might be the beginning of our story, it's not the beginning of God's story. We don't know what God was up to before this creation, but the text indicates that God was up to something. Second, the creation stories are not recipes for how to create a universe. That is to say, they are not scientific treatises on how the creation came about. Rather, they are theological statements about why creation came about and what our relationships to God, to creation, and to each other are supposed to be. We'll read the first seven chapters of Matthew this week, which takes us from the birth saga through the Sermon on the Mount. As you read, see if you can spot parallels between Jesus and Moses in the way that Matthew tells the story. The Psalms is basically an ancient hymn book, but it can also be read as a book of wisdom. See, Psalm 1-1 says, Happy are they who have not walked in the counsels of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. So it's possible to read, pray, and understand the Psalms as insights and in how to follow God and find that peace that passes understanding. I want to close in prayer because we need to pray for each other on this journey. And it's my hope that we will read the scriptures prayerfully as well. So here's the Collect for Holy Scripture from the prayer book, which is also the Collect for the Sunday closest to November 16th, proper 28. Blessed Lord, who caused all Holy Scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I hope you have a blessed week. And please remember, God loves you more than you can possibly imagine.